Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error to run this application, you must install .NET Core. Then either read through this article on the website. The link has been shared in the description section, or simply watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. The first solution is to check if .NET frameworks are enabled. So press the Windows key and the R button together to open the Run window. In the run window, type the command appwiz.cpl and hit enter. This will open the programs and features window. Now click on turn windows features on or off. You'll find this option for .NET Framework 4.8 and 3.5 or maybe some other version. Make sure that all of these are checked and then click on OK. The next solution will be to install the .NET Core from the prompt. I'll tell you how you can do this. Simply go to the link mentioned here in solution number 2 and from this page which keeps on changing, click on the direct link to download it. Now click on open and it is an exe file. As soon as it opens, you will be able to run it. The next solution will be to launch the app in the clean boot state because we are trying to open a certain application and that application is not opening due to lack of the .NET framework. Once you have installed the .NET Framework, once you have installed the .NET Framework from the original website, then the only solutions that have been left is to uh, make sure that some other third party software is not installing or other app based troubleshooting. So press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. In the run window, type the command msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with Hide All Microsoft Services. If any other service is checked, please click on Disable All. Then click on Apply and finally on OK. After that, restart your computer. The fourth solution is to repair and reset the corrupted app. Right click on the Start button and select Settings from the menu. In the Settings menu, go to the Apps tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, select Installed Apps. Now. Let us uh, say that we need to do something with the GIT app. Click on the three dots associated with it. Or let's say that we want to do it with Google Chrome or Mail and Calendar. Then click on Advanced Options. Scroll down to Repair. First try to repair it. If it doesn't work, then try to reset the application. The last solution will be to reinstall the app. Return to the same page by right clicking on the start button and selecting settings. Then go to apps on the list on the left hand side and then on installed apps. Wait for the list to load and let's say it is the camera application. Click on these three dots here and then select uninstall. After uninstalling it, if it is a Windows specific app, then you can install it from the Microsoft store. If it is not a Windows specific app, then you can install it from the manufacturer's website. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.